Hey guys, it's another beautiful day in Colombia. Hope you guys are doing good. Check out this new video, our first 4K video. I hope you enjoy. It's a bug real small, but makes really loud noise. Well, mira. <laughs> mira. Hipas. Rosanos. Dios mío. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Qué feo. Sí. <laughs> muchas, mira, muchas. Things you find in Colombia, guys. <laughs> Nature is, I, I want to say, out of control, but it's. It's uh, uh, something really amazing and beautiful. <laughs> the things that you find every day just walking around Colombia. <laughs> So this is one of the small reasons that I would, I really like Colombia because it's just so much nature and beauty. Uh, we just walk in from a place where we got um, like a shake, a pina colada, and we were like, ah, oh, let's find some place beautiful. And we just walked around the corner and here we are. So I'm gonna tell you guys real quick why I left the United States and why I really don't want to come back, but I will just for a short time, but not sure how long because I really love this place. Of course, it's easy to leave the United States when you have a beautiful wife. Yeah, most of us. But um, no, it's a lot of stuff going on in the United States and the timing was really just set up for me to try something different in my life with the whole COVID thing and um, a lot of things going on working from home. I was able to kind of experiment. My experiment ended though. I, I was working remote. I didn't tell them that I was going in and out of Columbia, but I did it successfully. I did my job well. And then one day they said, we show you're in Columbia. It's like after 10 months on and off. And then they basically gave me an option to get back to the United States or to resign or be fired. And so I'm still in Colombia. So you know how that kind of turned out. But yeah, guys, um, just want to tell you, like, a lot of people don't know what they have in other countries. In the United States, you're basically working two jobs and you got to uh, pay to do a lot of things in the United States uh, just to have like some peace and fun and uh, even before we things were really crazy with inflation I was always working two jobs and just on the go it's just so much right now um, going on with division in the United States it's really it's really ugly and for the most part Colombia is peaceful people work really hard to get everything that they uh, they have you don't really um, have a reason to fall in the debt. You pay for stuff like a motorcycle and cash. A lot of people, they have this fam these family values. And in the United States, the differences in families, we are, we're taught to be independent much quicker. So we separate from our families. And because of that, you see like, um, a lot of people become independent and not have their self set up and they fall into depression or try to find easy ways to make money. I go on a major debt trying to, uh, to make it in society. And the difference in Colombia is family, they stick together for a while and until somebody can make it and they end up trying to save enough money for uh, to buy a house, to buy things in cash. So you don't see people digging themselves into so much debt to where it's going to kill them. And now, right right now in Colombia, the gas is about would, would equate to $2.50 gas um, and the prices for things like like food basically where I stay in Ibargue is a little cheaper than other places it's a city with about 500,000 people and so I can pretty much live for $700 a month 
and I can go out to restaurants, I can have food for uh, the family and really enjoy myself with nature and, and everything here. And riding a motorcycle is, is really economical. It costs basically $2 to fill up your tank. And you're on the go for a few days before you need to refill again. It's a different way of living. Um, there's a lot of things I could say in the United States could learn from Colombia. A lot of people have businesses in their front living rooms and it pays the bills. It's really people doing what they got to do, either uh, making arepas or selling some type of food or selling something from their house. And you're like amazed that they call this a third world country because they have a way of doing things very economical, very cost effective and that really helps out trying to, to just have a happy life here. So sometimes you run into people and they have that American dream. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm grateful for the fact that I have United States citizenship. Um, but to be honest, at my age, which is I'm gonna tell you guys 46 years old, I experienced so much in the United States and I was just like ready for something different. And just different pace of life and different way of being satisfied in life. So I found that here in Colombia, found a wife, um, beautiful thing here, beautiful place. Really think people should definitely experience Colombia, come and visit, um, see what it's about. The only thing is, it's better to know some Spanish when you come here, to know how the money works. Because I'm married, I'm able to uh, stay here on a visa, which I'll talk about in other other things. <laughs> it's the simple things that I appreciate about Colombia is putting exercise equipment outside. <laughs> so because uh, it's people can actually stay in shape and just all these places that they have to eat outside and and being just a guy like this isn't a city that has a bunch of african colombianos but it's a city where i feel more comfortable with people they speak to me like i know spanish really well so it's all their soccer players are are black too so they're not like intimidated by black people there's no superiority in people here and you, you need we drive on the street with a motorcycle and they they respect the space and people walk a lot for the most part is really safe and people wonder if a place like uh, las vegas would be better i've lived in michigan and lived in las vegas and been to many different places and I feel safer here, to be honest. The police don't really mess with people. Um, they always have some checkpoints sometimes for different things that people know they're supposed to have, like for insurance and the license. But for the most part, they're not picking people out. It's a great place for me. Sometimes you find that place that's great for you and it works for you. <laughs> My wife was pointing out something about uh, in a visa, chamente visa americana. Vas a preguntar algo? Es para entrar un visa? Sí. No sé. Yeah, but what other reasons would you li live somewhere different? The experience, expanding your, your mind, learning a new language, interacting with new people, slowing down, uh, spending less money, learning to appreciate uh, nature more in time. Uh, definitely it's not an easy thing to do, but it's one of those things you gotta really think about. Uh, how are you spending your life? To be honest, yeah, there's parts that are poor here, but there's parts poor in America. And I, honestly, I see more homelessness in Las Vegas. When I was living in Las Vegas full time, more, more homelessness there than here. I 
show you some of the flowers that are here. You would think, is this Hawaii? No, it's Colombia. And thanks for watching, guys. Just know the donations make the channel better and the videos more frequent. Stay tuned till the next time. Take care and God bless.